Welcome to this session. I'm going to be talking about how to answer a SAC question in your first SAC of the year, which will relate to outcome one. Last year on the final examination, there was a question that asked you to explain the role of the Senate. So I've decided to change that around and pose a question to explain the role of the House of Representatives. Now, if that was worth three marks, you would expect to spend about five or six minutes on that answer and to pick up those three marks. When you look at the question, try and work out how you're going to achieve those three marks. How am I going to make sure that the examiner or my teacher gives me those three marks for that response? In a question that asks you to explain something, it's really wanting you to outline with the major points how something works. In the case of the lower house, I would probably start off by saying that um, the lower house of federal parliament is the governing side of our parliament. Try not to repeat the question in the first line by saying the role of the House of Representatives is. There's no marks for repeating the question. Try and weave that question into your answer. So the House of Representatives, um, the majority of bills are started in the uh, House of Representatives. The majority of bills are introduced here. It's also a place where government policy is enacted. So I'd be looking at things like that to start the question off with the first paragraph. In the second paragraph, you could start talking about question time of Parliament. Okay, so question time, which forms a, a very uh, important part of our responsible government, is happening usually on a weekly basis. And if we look at the parliamentary calendar, question time is always uh, a focus for media. So question time is part of the role of the House of Representatives. If question time uh, doesn't happen, I think you would find that fairly quickly the government uh, would not be in government for very long. So who is in the House of Representatives if we're looking at the role of it? The people that make up the House of Representatives are members of Parliament. They have a three-year term. They come from an electorate in Australia as part of our electoral laws under the Constitution. And a good example would be to talk about your local member. So, for, uh, for instance, uh, a member I had a little bit to do with was the member for the Mallee, John Forrest. He was a member for 30 years, uh, sorry, 20 years. During that 20 years, he would have been working closely with the Liberal government as he was a national and helping to formulate policies and looking for the interests of his constituents in the Mallee. So a member of parliament looks after the interests of their electorate. If they are successful in doing this, they will be re-elected. So as I said, he was the member for 20 years, retired uh, in March last year. And basically, his main role would be to ask his members what they wanted him to do and then to work with government to ensure that some of these things did transpire. So in the case of uh, the member for the Mallee, he was the main instigator for the pipeline which travels from the Grampians all the way up to Mildura, which provides farmers with a uh, reliable source of water for their crops and for their farming. So looking at uh, the final mark for this particular question, we could then say that um, governments that don't have a majority in the lower house might find themselves talking to the Governor General who would then say they don't have the confidence of the people and he would then ask them to go for an election. The, the final mark would be somewhere along the lines of in 1975, the, uh, the federal government, which was Labor, did not receive enough votes in the lower house to pass their budget. So money bills start in the lower house and if the government can't pass their money bills, then they don't have the confidence of the people and therefore there is an election imminent. In the case of uh, the Labor government in 1975, Gough Whitlam, he was actually removed from uh, government and a caretaker government was put in place until the elections could occur. So that shows you a little bit of role of the Crown and also the role of the Prime Minister. So. When you're looking at doing a question such as this, explain the role of the House of Representatives. Make sure you have good paragraphs. Three marks would normally mean three paragraphs. Explaining or outlining 
what actually happens in the House of Representatives, looking at the major points, make sure you don't confuse it with the state government, which is the Legislative Assembly. If you try and confuse the House of Representatives or the lower house of Federal Parliament with the State Parliament, you cannot receive the full three marks. So very, very carefully look at what the question is asking, see how you're going to get those three marks. Look to your notes. If you don't have very good notes at this stage of the year, your content knowledge is not going to be very good. Once you have this uh, basis of a good content knowledge, I think you'll find it fairly easy to see where the marks are in one of these sorts of questions and to put down enough points to receive your marks.